Hi, I'm Geodav, and in this video, what we're going to... Oh, should have got... just get that back up. Uh, splash screen, there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do this time is something I've been trying to, been trying to avoid for the last few years, and works well, but there's certain scenarios where we have to do this. So what am I talking about? <clears throat> I bet basically what we're talking about here now is the uh, unit setup within Blender. Now, using my old system where I leave everything at default, let's see if I can... Right, first thing, let's get this straight. I'm using Blender 2.76B. Now this is the latest version, we are sort of December, late December 2015, just so you know. Right, okay, we can get rid of that. Now if we go on to, I think it's, no, not seen, uh, here we go, oh, it's seen, what's that, uh, uh, whatever. Right, out here. My standard procedure is to have everything set, the unit set to norm and degrees. Now, this is fine, works wonderful in a lot of cases. But the certain issues that we do get when you using other applications with Blender and with Unreal Engine 4. Now, so what do we do and what issues are we going to be facing? Uh, basically, one of my subscribers has been trying to get cloth to work via Blender and the Apex standalone tools. And we were having lots of issues and eventually we found out between lots of backwards and forwards it is purely down to the metric system or should I say the fact that I wasn't using any uh, units of form so basically I, th I think this is all in conjunction I mean the, the last setup video I done was mm, probably about two to two years ago when Unreal Engine came out for the public. So basically what we're going to do is pretty much what they have here. Now this is on the wiki unrealengine.com or whatever I'm sure you'll be able to find it if necessary I'll supply a link for anybody but you can also sort of Google static mesh from Blender, Unreal Engine 4 and you should come to this bit. Okay, so it's like saying as of 2.7 built in and all the rest of it, the, uh, we'll cover some factors of the FBX issues. I know it says here static mesh and it does cover quite a few information. What we're basically bothered about is the actual size and scaling, uh, size setup and scaling. Now, as they explain here, uh, you can set scale and parameters uh, th this way, that way, whichever way. To be honest, as it says here, it's a bad idea to use scaling options in the exporter because it can cause problems later. The same as using the scaling options on the importer. A lot of people have had issues with it purely because when they're trying to do animations it doesn't get affected or that's what it seems to me. But anyway, let's get try and keep this quick and simple and do a little showcase. So, okay. Now, what, the, what they're saying here is adjust the scale of the units, scene power, property editor, units to metric, and the scale parameter to 0 0.1. This adjusts the conversion rate between blender units and metric units. 
Okay, so what are we looking at there? So if we go into Blender, now what we want to do is over here in this panel on the right, set it to metric. And this is the scale factor that they're talking about here, 0 0.01. And you'll notice straight away the change in the grid squares here. It all looks the same, but the actual view. Now, if you look in this panel, where if I press N, it disappears. If I press N again, it reappears. So if this panel's not there for you, just press N. Now, uh, normally I would have the uh, screen key thing, but it's could be causing issues so it's been left out as standard for some reason so I think there'll be reasons why so we'll ju I'll just have to try and remember to tell you what keys I'm pressing okay so now you'll see here on the clip it starts at 10 mu meters going out to 10 kilometers now, if you don't know what a mu meter is, that is basically a millionth of a meter. Now, what's that in uh, realistic terms? Well, it's a thousandth of a millimeter. Why do I know that? Because that's what I work with on a regular basis. Uh, and when I don't get it, I get into trouble. But hey ho. So basically, it's given us, it's not going to clip while we zoom in and out, which is fine for us. Now having that set up, all we have to do now is go on to the create. I'm going to create a cube. Now I've obviously managed to offset my uh, do for there, my mini thing, so I'm just going to kind of, well in fact the quickest way to do this Right, let's just get the zoos, 3D cursor, reset all, get, have that selected, delete it, and let's create a new one. And it's back at zero, 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 as you can see here, meters, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> uh, I'm going to set it to a height of one meter. No, that's one centimeter. I want one meter, so that's probably, there we go, 100. So it's already working in the centimetres. So if you type in one, it will be actually be one centimetre. Now, as you can see here, the dimensions are two metres, which is fine and dandy. So scales are all at one. And what I'm going to do is, uh, where is it? The tools, set origin mark. Well, uh, make sure my origin is back at zero 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 set origin and uh, geometry to uh, origin to 3d cursor that's what I was looking for okay very quickly into the UV editing press home to zoom out which doesn't do a great deal and you can see me clipping here for this one is for some reason not very nice as you can see here, it starts at one millimeter. So why that doesn't that? Yeah, whatever. So put it at a thousand. So oh no, that's still crud. A thousand, which is two meters. Make it nice and big. <laughs> so we're not going to clip at all. All right, so. I did say very quickly, hit tab into edit mode, hit A to deselect. What I'm doing here is holding shift, right click in, select and the edges to create a scene. And uh, shading UVs, mark seam. And let's see, click on faces. There probably is a hotkey for that and I don't know it. But uh, unwrap, got a nice layout there. Now I am going to open my. No, it's not in there, it's not in there. There we go. My favourite UV map. Right, back into the default and let's see. 
quickly assign material. Dooby dooby doo. Now, for testing purposes, you don't really need to do this, but uh, I always find it's advantageous. Right, so tab out. Uh, check the textured look. Yeah, fantastic material look. Probably go black because. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm still not the best of friends with Blender, so I would not really bothered about that. So, right. Now we've got that set up, what all, all we have to do is go to Export and select FBX. Now, where I'm going to tutorial, uh, test content, cube 01. And I'm going to increase that. Now, we're doing a static mesh at the moment, so not to worry. FBX Exporter has changed somewhat over the last couple of years, so please beware. All right, main version, geometry, apply modifiers, uh, face on the smoothing. Probably still get errors, whatever. Uh, don't forget we're using FBX 7.4 binary. Uh, why on earth that has leaf bones on default, I don't know. And animation. We're just doing a static mesh at the moment, so just export it, and that should be cube 02. Now, we'll go into Unreal Engine. Now, let me see, help. Uh, about the editor, here we go, and as you can see, it's release version 4.10.1. As of mid December, this is the standard version that's available. So, I'm just going to quickly create a new folder cube 0.2. Now, you may be wondering why I'm doing this. Because the best thing to do while well, you, you're messing about with this stuff, we'll get onto that in another video, is to make sure your workflow is correct. Okay, so I'm just but yeah, nothing special there. Import, as you can see, lovely cube comes in here, approximate size 200 by 200 by 200. That is what we want. Now, as it happens, Blue Peter Badge and all the rest of it, I already have a material set up with my UV layout. So, select the material, not the texture. Trust me, done it umpteen times. Oh, nice and blurred. Yeah, okay. Smashing, happy. Uh, while we're here, uh, collisions, it hasn't got a collision on it, so let's just add a simplified collision box. Fantastic. Save. Exit. Now, what we're going to do here is cube. Just pull it into a map, and you're like, ah, does that look the right size? Ah, you know something? Don't know. Right, what I have here is... No, uh, no, there we go. Mannequin, yes, I have got the animation starter pack, but uh, we'll leave that for the moment. <coughs> we have the standard SK mannequin, pull him in there, and as you can see, yeah, scale is fantastic. Mannequin's about one, one meter eighty in height, and my box is two meters. Yeah, fantastic. So that's pretty much it. Now, just a quick reminder, in your scene, uh, there we go, that one there with the uh, yeah, lights, and geometry, put it to metric, degrees, I don't think you want to work in radians, uh, last time I worked in radians, no, no. That got me very confused. That was back in Unreal, one of the earlier Unreal engines. But hey ho, 
set your scale to 0 0.10 which puts it to centimeters okay that would be a decimeter and that is centimeter and that is millimeter just for those who don't know it's a bit awkward and I must admit not sort of thing I enjoy but uh, when we move on to doing things in the near future with the uh, definitely get these if, any, if anybody knows how to get rid of these issues that I'm having and let's see if I go into solid and you see it now I don't know why but I seem to be getting these issues with the uh, displaying boxes and bits and pieces when Blender just gives a shout let us know it's probably some setting in the display or shading or uh, whatever no. Anyway, all right, metric 0 0.01, and we're fine and dandy. Okay, so I'll leave it at that and see you soon.